So here we are up at the beautiful Creekside wall. This thing helps bolster the side of this massive creek that can get 50 foot tall of water. So this is a beautiful wall for what it's purposed for, but as you can see, it's been hit with graffiti tagged left and right. So it could use a facelift. And what better way to do that with a nice King Salmon mural. So yeah, give me about five seconds here, let me paint away and we'll go from there. All right, we're just finishing up some details here on this uh, return of the salmon mural down the San Lorenzo watershed. This is a cubist style, kind of a stylized version. A bit of a stained glass feel of the uh, last salmon run we just had last year. It was uh, an awesome thing to see. So this is our homage to it. And uh, this mural here represents the many different sunsets we have around the Bay Area and uh, the many different colors that it can present an artist to use. I put some water lilies into the system and some clouds and you can see the salmon jumping out of the water here uh, as they uh, go upstream for the spawning season. So let's follow them upstream and let me show you the rest of the mural. So the Chinook salmon are quite the amazing creatures. You know, they normally live three to five years out in the ocean and when it's time to breed, they fly up the creek systems here and uh, their bodies will change to accommodate the fresh water and they're just amazing creatures. You get these beautiful pink colors mixed in with the green. They blend right in with the systems. So splish splash, they kind of fly through the creek. So no amazing ecosystem wouldn't be complete without our amazing pollinators. You know, Buster the beautiful bee here is just chilling, hanging out, enjoying some sweet nectar of the water lilies. and. Uh, you know, this mural just kind of has a spiral feel where the waves kind of crash and the clouds merge in and these reeds kind of peak up and kind of create a, a jagged stained glass kind of effect. A bit cubist, a little stylized and try to keep our aqua colors mixed in with the greens and the salmon are kind of running through all the way. So we're cruising. Yeah, so these Chinook salmon swim up here from the creek system and they're intermingling with steelhead trout. So two beautiful fish that kind of come up the ecosystem, chasing flies and other critters, and eventually make it up past this vortex channel right here in the cement creek, if they're lucky enough. And uh, someday there'll be a fish ladder made into this one section of the creek, and uh, all those Chinook salmon will make it all the way up through San Lorenzo Creek all the way to the Japanese gardens over there. So if you're putting in hundreds of hours into your mural, you really want to protect that thing from graffiti and the UV light um, and just anything else that could splash or uh, spill on it. So we always want to use our clear coat. We mix this puppy up. It's a two part uh, environmentally friendly acrylic uh, clear coat. And it's basically that's what it does. We do four coats for that thing. And uh, that ensures that any graffiti gets on there. We put a special cleaner on it and it's good to go. So, you know, I wanted to give a big thanks to my uh, apprentice artist over here. Uh, we got Jess Glenn helping out and uh, Mike Morales down there. And uh, Lindsey Smith was there and Dave Brown. You know, these guys really made the team. I think it was an awesome project. And uh, finishing touches, putting the clear coat on. It's always uh, crucial and important. So thanks for uh, sticking in, return to the salmon and uh, that's a cut.